What's up pitchers? Dan Blewett here and today we're going to talk about how the center of the strike zone shifts depending on how the hitter stands. I'm going to give you some tips about how to approach hitters who crowd the plate, who are way too far off the plate, and we're just going to talk about how to read a hitter in general as it relates to where he stands on the plate. So if you're looking for more pitching tips, tutorials, all this stuff, definitely subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos each week. I have a vlog and I have an amazing book coming out that I'm excited for you to read. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you inside the video. Okay, so let's talk about what you can learn from looking at where a hitter stands relative to the plate. So first thing to note, most hitters are not gonna be up in the box. Almost everyone's gonna be at the back end of the box. So it's not super important to talk about that because again, you're not gonna see a lot of people up front. If you do, I don't know, maybe, maybe they haven't played baseball before, I'm not really sure, but pretty much everyone stays in the back of the box because they're trying to give themselves a little more reaction time. They can see the pitch deeper, try to recognize a little bit better. It's pretty rare to see someone up in the front of the box. So if you do see someone, it's hard to say what is in their head. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll kind of move past that. So really we're gonna talk about the lateral aspects. So how close they are to the plate here, because a lot of pitchers don't think that hard or they see, you know, oh, this guy's crowding the plate. Oh man, like he's screwing me over, blah, blah, blah. No, really hitters are screwing themselves over when they crowd the plate. So I'll give you a quick story. In 2011, I was playing in an independent league that featured Jose Canseco as a player manager. And I pitched against Jose a bunch of times and he would come in and he would wipe out the batter's box and he would basically put his cleat almost like on the plate like this. I mean, it was, he was just like, it's still an enormous dude at 40 plus years old, still had incredible bat speed. And so he was looming over the plate like this. And so pretty much everyone was afraid of him because they didn't want to hit Jose Canseco. He had a huge arm brace, blah, blah, blah. And as you watch him do that, you wonder, okay, what's he trying to accomplish? Because he's not a, he's not a, he's a smart dude. So you say, what's he trying to accomplish by crowding the plate that much and looming over it? Uh, what was he trying to do? Well, it was clear. He wanted you to be too scared of him because he knew who he was in his presence. He wanted you to throw out here, which the center of the plate was basically shifting to the outside part of the plate. So the middle of the plate for everyone else was basically the outer corner for Jose. So he knew, you're afraid of me, you're gonna throw away. And when you throw away from me, I'm just gonna go whoop and just buggy with the ball over the fence. And for the most part, that's what he did. So for me, I pitched him inside because I knew, it's like, look, I'm gonna get killed if I go out there. So I might as well just roll the dice. If I hit him, I hit him. I end up hitting him actually uh, one time but I pitched against him pretty well because I just kept it tight to his body. And no matter what you do, a hitter can't get barrel and keep it fair if it's way inside. They can get jammed and keep it fair, but they really can't barrel it up and keep it fair. It's very, very difficult. So at a certain point, this is crucial to understand, the center of the plate actually shifts. So this is what your mindset needs to be as a pitcher. So if you have sort of a standard stance, the barrel of your bat's gonna live in the middle of the strike zone. So pitchers, like the relative dimensions of the plate are still intact. They're the same as they always were. When a guy moves closer, the center of the plate moves closer, right? So the center of the plate is now here rather than in the middle. If a guy's two, three uh, inches closer to the plate. If a guy's farther away, now the middle of the plate is here. So what can you do with this information? If the inside of the plate is here, if a guy's way off the plate, obviously it makes it tougher for him to hit the pitch way on the outside corner. And on the uh, contrary, if he's really close to the plate, the center of the plate's over here, it's gonna make him really tough to hit and barrel up a ball that's really far inside. So basically, lots of young pitchers get frustrated when they see guys crowding the plate. They're like, oh, I don't have room to work, I feel uncomfortable. Number one, you shouldn't try to hit anybody to hurt them, but this is still baseball. So if they're crowding the plate and you feel nervous about hitting him, screw that guy, screw him. Just go in there, if he gets hit, it's his own fault. You're still allowed to pitch anywhere you want, so don't be deterred if a guy is close. If you hit a kid, no big deal. So look, guy crowds the plate. Rather than, again, feeling like the victim pitchers, you should feel like this guy is already doing himself a disservice because he cannot get to any pitch in here. Because again, like we know, hitters want to just pull the ball and they want to hit dingers all that stuff, and we, we feel like we're afraid to go inside, but really hitters don't hit home runs on inside pitches. 
they hit home runs and doubles on pitches that are middle in. So like inner half. Inner half is an easy to hit pitch. Inner third is not an easy to hit pitch. Inner corner is an impossible to hit pitch. Hitters have to be super good at pulling their barrel in and really changing their swing and being really early and really fast to hit a really legitimately inside pitch. So most hitters want to extend their arms and when you're a big strong guy, guys will start to pull out or half pitches, get their arms extended and drive them into the pull side gap. So again, remember, the, the key takeaways from this video, if a guy crowds the plate, he is screwing himself over. You still own the plate, pitch inside to him because he will not be able to get the barrel to the ball. If a guy is way off the plate, he's also screwing himself because he cannot get to anything on the outer half. Pitches, you know, you make a great pitch on the outer third. To this guy, the outer half is the outer third. So he can't even hit that, right? Lastly, just remember that it's your plate, that hitters don't make adjustments super well, and that you'll probably get an understanding of what a hitter wants to do by where he's standing. So if he's crowding the plate, especially if he's like one of these guys, he might be really comfortable getting hit by pitches, trying to get on base and make stuff happen. So, so be it. Pitch him inside, force him to get the barrel of the bat out. He probably can't. But just remember that the center of the plate moves relative. This plate is really somewhat arbitrary. What really matters is where the hitter is because the center of the plate is going to change. All right. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, share it with a friend, and I'll see you here in the next pitching tutorial.